hope you're doing alright today. Welcome to Photoshop Wednesday. Today we are going to be continuing work on our <coughs> Halloween themed uh, background image. Our, our regular image, I guess it doesn't have to be a background. Got a spooky, spooky scene. Um, so we missed the Halloween deadline. But that's alright. We're just getting an early start for next year. So, I'm gonna dive in. <clears throat> so I was thinking... So I gathered up some images of, oh, excuse me, let's see if we can fix this, gathered up some images of um, spooky stuff, I'm trying to find um, some nice reference materials, because um, I kept feeling like the house that I was, the way it was rendered um, just wasn't spooky enough. So, gathered up some houses, uh, found a bunch of houses, of, uh, a bunch of pictures of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. So I'm going to be blacking out the windows. Um, let's see. I had a few things that I was going to do. Black out the windows. Grow the grass the grass growing a little bit higher since this place is supposed to be abandoned <laughs> um, get some weeds growing through these these uh, pavers as well uh, and then just generally maybe weathering the house weathering the materials a little bit and then whatever else we decide to do along the way and that's the plan such as it is Switch back over. All right. Let's get these windows knocked out. do that here. <clears throat> so I tend to use the pen tool because it lets me be fairly precise. Um, it's kind of a good mix between precision and speed. And really the amount of, whoops, uh, the amount of time you want to spend on it uh, really translates to kind of how good the ultimate selection is but these are these are really basic these are just little rectangular selections so I'm not too worried <clears throat> there's some crusty stuff around the edges of these but that's okay uh, I might clean this up a little bit actually but generally speaking um, I'm relying kind of on the color overlay in the main document to take care of most of the outlying pixels that might distract the eye in a way that we don't want. Uh, 
And then I am actually going to black this out, so. That was maybe a little bit unnecessary, but that's okay. Put that back there. <gasps> and we may put something in uh, later on. To uh, kind of uh, fill it in. This may be a little bit too blank and empty. Uh, let's see. be a little um, generous on the outside, I guess, to, ah, shoot, actually, I don't want to do that. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. It's trying to be clever, uh, but I actually want to get the edge of this frame. This is the sort of edge of this window frame perpendicular to the camera and I do want to get that in so we'll cut that there make a selection go up here black it out I don't recall putting that uh, rectangle there. I'm not sure. What? I'm very confused about that. Uh, okay, well, I guess I was doing two things at once. Wasn't even really paying attention. Which kind of sounds like me. Alright, so got those blacked out. That should be at least one little bit fractional spook here. Uh, not really. Maybe I'll go ahead and put some broken glass or something in the front. Um, eh, it's maybe like 0.1% more spooky. Oh, goodness. I've been uh, streaming pure ref the whole time. No wonder. No wonder no one's joined. Well, you missed uh, some extremely exciting masking and selections with the pen tool. Um, but, uh, you know, these are, this is what you get when you do it live. Day three of streaming. I'm having some uh, lemon herbal tea. Delish. Also kind of hot. But that's, you know, kind of the point, I guess. All right. <laughs> I downloaded a couple of images. Um, see if I can find those. for source images that I thought I'd saved. Apparently, I hallucinated that. All right. Well then, we will just go get some.
So we're looking for some um, gnarly abandoned building type vines. None of this grape or tomato stuff. We want dead looking spooky stuff. Very promising. And again, I don't want don't want stuff to look super alive. Uh oh. Been having issues with my sound. And my sound just crapped out. I think it's still working for y'all though. You may hear a computer noise. That's my computer, not yours. Bear with me. One sec. All right, there we go. And we're back. Hope everybody had a nice Halloween. Went out and partied. Either yesterday, which was Tuesday, uh, or on the weekend, I myself was here. I was playing a spooky, spooky game. I was playing Alan Wake 2. Pretty fun game so far. Not very far into it, but it was appropriately spooky. Looking forward to part two. Uh, session two. I'm playing part two. Looking forward to session two of this game. Ooh. So I think I can take some of these guys and color correct them a little bit and slap them onto the house. Make them look more like they're dead. Uh, make them look like they're actually growing up the house. website if you are not familiar you've probably gleaned by now but it is a really good stock image site um, it is a subscription service I think they give you a free version or some some preview um, some preview version but I do pay I th think it's like 200 a month no excuse me a year um, for unlimited images and they're all um, 
licensable. You don't have to pay anything extra. It's just all um, included, which is very nice. Um, the selection of images is huge, but I still find a lot of gaps. Especially for some of the stuff that I like to do, kind of my tastes. Um, this doesn't always have great images for like the kind of off-kilter stuff that I, I kind of enjoy doing. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to switch back over to Photoshop. And I will drop some of these images in. Make sure I'm at the right layer. I'm going to be towards the top so that I can... Oh, we can get out of here. Makes it easier to manipulate them when they're on the top and they're not all obscured by a bunch of other junk on top of them. So I slap them at the top. Um, hopefully I can use the Photoshop selection tools. They're really good lately. Um, they don't always work, but typically if there's something, some standout feature like this on a, on a um, solid background, then it's usually pretty easy to, pretty easy for it to cut out. Um, which is so nice. I mean, it's just so much faster. Uh, whoops. Alright, resize this guy. Oop. Resize the disk guy. Hold down space parks. My keyboard's in the wrong place. I wonder if I should get something that explains what keys I'm pushing. Because I use a lot of keyboard shortcuts when I'm doing Photoshop stuff. <clears throat> so typically when I do this, um, first off, I make absolutely enormous document sizes. They're huge. They're gigabytes of gigabytes um, because I tend not to I'm very inefficient with uh, my file sizes and I don't like to let me get this out of the way um, I don't like to um, throw stuff away so uh, everything is editable generally so I have um, I'll have nests of smart objects uh, five or six deep um, for seemingly no reason, um, I'll make a smart object and then I'll mask it and then I'll make that masked smart object a, s a different smart object um, for various reasons that I won't get into here. But um, I end up with just jillions of layers. Uh, and I'm not going to explain everything as I go. Just trying to find a good spot for this that looks nice and adds a little bit of character, but not doesn't really distract or, or take away from the overall image. Uh, gonna mask it. Get this crap out of the way. And I'm just going to use the plain old paintbrush tool. So when I do this, Usually, um, if I'm masking something like this, I don't like to have just a super, 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 super hard edge. Um, because if you kind of look at some of this stuff, the edge is like But then you have much lighter pixels here, so does the wall start here or does it start here? So it's a little bit fuzzy so I tend to um, uh, 
what's going on. Um, I tend to just let it be a little bit fuzzy. Sorry, my keyboard's acting funny. I think my cat is snoring. I can't really hear through my um, headphones. mask this so that it looks like it's poking out from behind the staircase. How did I do? I think that looks okay. I want to I think I want them a little darker though. Um, and I also want them to be a little bit blue as well. And I'll need to go in and clean some of this up in a bit. We'll see how much I can get away with, though. Uh, it looks like I'm not going to be able to get away with much at all. Maybe I can hide anything that's not a green pixel. Let's see. Not gonna lie, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. So, if it looks like I don't know what I'm doing, then your eyes are working very well. So this right here, this blend if, if you're not sure what it does, um, it lets you basically control whether or not it renders specific pixels um, based on their values. So based on what color they are, uh, and based on how they are nested, or how they are um, stacked and ordered in your document, you can essentially choose not to have certain pixels show up um, in the document, which is very handy. Um, this, however, is not working at all. So I will need to... Let's see. Can I? Can I do it maybe this way? If uh, anybody has any tips on, this is an extremely stupid way to do it. What am I doing? Huh. All right. Well, that didn't work. Uh, 
Okay, well, that selection is actually god-awful, and I didn't realize. So I'll have to go back and clean that up. Which I guess I'll do now. hear another computer noise. You might have just heard one. Man, I am having so much trouble with my sound lately. Computer noise, bear with me one sec. Sorry about that. You hope to have a better way to do this someday. Selection is so important, but oof. It is a bit of an art. Well, I do possess some skills when it comes to selections. Maybe I don't uh, have everything figured out. But I did just remember I could possibly use channels. So what do we got here? I'm going to say that's a little better. It 
it's a little better. Now it's too dark. Okay. Perfect. I don't know how much time I'm going to spend uh, masking this one manually. Ooh. Puke. Yes. Just feels like certain things are not great for Twitch. Like selection. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Roughly where it was. Where is this other one? Where did I put this one? No, that's not right. Oh, Vinny's right. It's way too dark. So I want this to be some kind of a an orange. Like, ooh. All right, that's pretty good. And if you desaturate it, turn the brightness down, you get kind of a gross looking, sickly. Or, or brown, whatever color that is. Um, I need to put some shadows. How do I want to do that?
this is 50, 50 percent. This one needs to be orange as well, or er, brownish. See how this works. Um, one thing I might be able to do is give a little bit more life to these leaves <coughs> by letting some of the brighter, um, brighter pixels shine through. helps make them look a little shiny, which is not, I don't know, maybe that's what we want, but I don't want them to look lively, so if they end up looking too shiny, then that looks bad. That looks okay. And it's probably going to be obscured by a bunch of effects and other shit anyway, so... Probably not going to matter too much. All right, y'all. Well, um. I'm going to save it. I'm going to call it here for now. Unfortunately, I have some other things that I need to take care of. <coughs> but uh, if you happen to stop by, thank you for stopping by on Twitch. And if you happen to catch this on YouTube, thanks for checking it out on YouTube as well. Hope you're doing well. Uh, hope you have a good day. Thanks a lot, everybody.